This week we have a battle between two Canon 50mm primes. So this week we did a little test between the Canon 50mm 1.8 FD lens and the modern equivalent Canon 50mm 1.8 EF lens. Canon launched their newer FD range in the late 70s, making the one we have around 30 to 40 years old, whereas we bought our newer 50mm EF lens about five years ago. So there are a couple more obvious advantages to using the modern Nifty 50. <laughs> this test ultimately comes down to whether the older, higher quality glass beats the new, modern budget glass. Before we look at the test footage, let's go over some specs. So both of these lenses are 50mm focal length and they are both f1.8, which is great for low light. They both have five aperture blades. However, the EF has electronic aperture blades, which are controlled from the camera. And the FD has the aperture ring on the front of the lens, making it easier to use normal adapters on different camera bodies instead of spending out on an electronic adapter. The next thing to talk about is the price. The EF lens can be found around £50 used and can still be found new for around £80, whereas the FD lens, being much older, can only be bought used for around £30. The main difference is that the EF lens has autofocus, which is very important for photographers, and the FD lens is strictly manual, which may be better for video work where autofocus may let you down. Moving on to the build quality, the EF lens is made of plastic, it feels really cheap, and comes in around 130 grams, whereas the FD lens is made of metal, it feels a lot better build quality and weighs 150 grams. No, it doesn't, it weighs 170 grams. One last thing we noticed when researching the specs of these lenses was the minimum focus distance. The EF lens has a 45 centimeter minimum and the FD lens has a 60 centimeter minimum. So none of them are really that good. Right, so now we've gone over the specs, let's take a look at how these lenses compare side by side. Us, the vintage lens certainly gave a softer and flatter image. It also looked a tad warmer. The vintage lens also seemed to provide better lens flares. Bokka is a bit better in our personal opinion on the vintage lens, but pentagonal shapes are obvious in the Bokka of both, which in all honesty is unsurprising. We expected to see a difference in the distortion and the artifacts, particularly on this shot with plenty of straight lines. However, in reality, they ended up remaining pretty much the same between the two images. So as we said that the FD is much softer, that means the modern is obviously sharper. Although there is no noticeable differences in the distortion, the modern lens produces a crisper and sharper overall image quality, which depending on what you're shooting may or may not be desirable. The modern lens with its increased sharpness and autofocus capabilities will be favoured by most, but the vintage lens has a more organic look which may be favoured by people that do video work or creative photography. So from the test footage we've shown in the video, which one do you think is better? Let us know in the comments below, give us a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.